Hi friends and fellow earth angels, it's Gladys and welcome back to my pick a card reading and I've themed this reading surviving Mercury retrograde the halfway point. So today the piles are going to be the option of the number 22, the number 55 and the number 88. So twos in the spiritual and divine realm represent the energy of keep the faith. I've been seeing 22s a lot. I was also guided to choose the number 55 and 55 is a number of change. And then number 88 is a prosperity number. It's an infinity number. It's like a never ending cycle. So eights could be money, it could be abundance, it could be prosperity coming in, it also could be infinite energy, it could represent the divine in so many ways. So however you want to interpret interpret the numbers and however you feel guided is up to you. Um, the cards I'm going to be using today, so I have, <laughs> I have quite the spread. I just, I've tried to do this reading a few times. I mentioned in my Sunday reading, I tried to do one last week. The energy has been really, I don't know, different. So I could just couldn't decide what cards I wanted to use. So I kind of have an eclectic bunch here. So um, I have the Angel Oracle cards. I have Daily Guidance. I have Soul's Journey. I have Angel Therapy. Hold on. I have love and light and i also have um the psychic tarot um, by john holland and um i don't um know tarot enough to channel in that way so i will use it as an oracle deck if i decide to use it uh so that is that is my my pack that i'm using i'm going to keep the books out too because i want to go into that and if you don't want to see me shuffle, I'm going to shuffle the cards. If you don't want to see me shuffle, you can skip ahead. I'm going to put the timestamps in the description below along with the a link to book a private session with me, to connect with me on social media, and or to leave a donation for my channel. So thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the new subscribers. Um, it's always exciting when a channel grows. Um, I hope these messages comfort, support you, teach you, and inspire you. I am pulling from my 12 years of working in this field uh, to bring you messages from the divine. And thank you for watching and sharing and listening. All right, so let me open up space. I am going to invite in all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God, source, creator of the universe, all holy beings of light who would like to assist with this guidance. And I'm going to ask that the messages that come through be for all of our best and highest good and the best and highest good of all concerned. I'm also going to ask that the messages that come through, they come through loud and clear for all of us. All right, so let me start picking the cards for the piles. I'm gonna start with the Archangel for pile number 22. All right, let me get this cord out of the way. Okay, so let's begin. Oh, well, that one just fell right out. So we'll start there. Um, there really isn't just enough room here. So 22, and then the Angel for number 55. Angel number 55. And Angel for 88. Let's go with this one. I'm just kind of watching to see what flies out of this deck. And then Soul's Journey. What are you learning during this period? What do the angels, the divine, want to support you in what you're learning in this period for number 22? 22. What are you learning? Number 55, what is 55 learning? What are they learning this retrograde? Number 55. Yeah, 
And number 88. What are learning number 88? Wow. And now let's go with, I'll go with Angel Therapy. And what actions can you take? Or how can the angel support number 22? here so we'll go with that number 55 how can the angels support and what actions number 55 group let's go with this oh. um it's too many let's see all right angels just make it a little more clear number 55 55. Let's see. Actions. Support. Let's go with this one. And number 88. So 88 action support for number 88. Pile. And then let's go with guidance from the angels, daily guidance, number 22, daily guidance, what guidance can you offer number two? Oh, let's go with that one. And number 55, guidance, <laughs> those two, these are just flying out. And number 88, what daily guidance for number 88? to pull a chakra I'm going to pull a chakra card but I'm gonna wait until like each pile to pull the chakras um, because there's only one of each and each pile could need the same chakra so I'll wait on that and let me finish with the love and light God's message and I'll use the John Holland deck as clarifiers um, if I need to in the in throughout the reading so let's finish with love and light God God connecting with number 22 what message do you have for them what message do you want them to know during this retrograde period okay there's that one and God number 55 connect with the group number 55 what message do you have for them message do you want them to know? Let's go with this one. And number 88. Number 88. What message do you have? What? Let's go with these two. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go with these two. Okay. All right, and then I'll save the John Hopper cards. All right. Set up packs here. All right, so those who stuck with me, Watch me shuffle before you chose. Here we go. Number 22, number 55, number 88. 
a deep breath and just allow your intuition to guide you to a number and we will begin with pile number 22. Okay, those of you who chose pile 22, welcome. Let's begin. All right, so I decided when I was shuffling, I was going to pull a chakra card um, throughout, um, through each reading. Um, there's only one of each, and I didn't want to pull for each pile because. Uh, either pile could be the same chakra and I didn't want to limit that. So let's just pull chakra. Oh, well, this one popped out. So let's see, let's go with, do we want this here? Um, let's see how that looks. Solar plexus. Solar plexus is power. It's your third chakra. It's in the area of your stomach and it's your empowerment. So those of you who chose 22, um, 22 means like have faith, everything's gonna be okay. So some of you may be learning about your power. Um, sometimes that means people are either taking your power or you're giving your power away. Uh, so let's get into the pile and see how that matches up. So the Archangel, we have sensitivity. Archangel Haniel's message is you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor your, yourself and your feelings. Definitely goes with empowerment. It is a very sensitive time for people. Um, let's go soul's journey. Peace. Oh, it says, I am, being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energies. Again, being sensitive feeling that pull and tug at our solar plexus. Let's go with, oh, so we pulled two angel therapies. One, also a chakra, crown chakra. For those of you who chose this deck, uh, a great meditation for crown chakra or solar plexus would be really beneficial for you this week. Uh, it says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. When we're in this piece of peace and comfort and sensitive sensitivity, the messages and the guidance can be intensified and enhanced. This may be about you standing in your power. And the other angel therapy card was release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you on your purpose. So this is also a purge and release. You're extra sensitive right now. So cord cutting, releasing, knowing that everything is okay, everything's gonna work out. And I'm feeling like they're showing me your energy flowing down a river, going with the flow and having patience. The other guidance is the, the daily guidance is change in direction. So it says the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Beautiful. This is all they're learning right here. Uh, new energy, change in direction. This is also baby energy. So if you're going through some type of process to have a child, uh, this could be another specific message. It could not necessarily be a physical child. Maybe you're working on creating a new business, a new job for yourself, working on a project. This is all um, coming up to you through your intuition, through crown chakra, standing in your power, releasing. And let's see, God's message, follow the path that is right for you. It said, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Wow. So let me see here. I'm going to have a pile here. How do I want to put these in? So you see them all. All right, let me see. Give me one moment.
Okay, so one of the messages that I'm seeing or, or hearing or feeling, <laughs> or just know, there's this direction, change in direction, follow the path that's right for you. And earlier I saw you kind of going down a river and going with the flow. So some of you may have been on course. You may have had your life planned out. You may have been in a space where you knew what you wanted. And maybe all of a sudden during this retrograde, things are changing. You could be getting inundated with a lot of ideas right now. Things can be really confusing. And I think this is where the peace card comes up in the number 22. Um, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So if you're up against resistance, maybe you've been working towards making some changes and empowering yourself and you're up against some resistance. Maybe, you know, when, when, when we make changes in our lives, it really, it also changes the people that are in our lives. It changes their lives too. And sometimes there can be resistance to that. And so releasing, working with Archangel Michael, asking him to take his sword, it's of like an indigo light, uh, his sword, and going down the front of your body, the back of your body, and then asking him to vacuum out any energy that's not yours. So as intuitives, as earth angels, caregivers, light workers, we are here to be in service of others and we can expend our energy. And if we're not careful, we can distribute so much energy that we just get tired, depleted, and drained. So. I feel like one of the messages too for this retrograde is to really pay attention to how you're recharging yourself, paying attention to how you're expending your energy, who is taking that power from you or who is directing and guiding your life. Is it you? Is it your boss, your coworkers, your significant other, a parent, a child? This also too is a message of intuition we are getting downloads. I especially am getting downloads during this period. And it's really confusing because, you know, one of the messages that I heard from myself this week was the closer, the closer to God you get, the more things make sense. And so we're being asked to meditate and pray, connect, clear our heart chakra, working that energy of connecting with our intuition and our inner empowerment. Uh, we, I also decided to light the divine wisdom candle because I feel like so many of you are getting downloads. This goes with the sensitivity card that came up. Archangel Haniel is the angel of passion. Uh, she's also the angel of joy. And if you're embarking on a journey where you are using your intuitive gifts and you're being guided to create money in accordance with what your soul is guiding you to do, know that you can be extra sensitive right now. So sensitivity is Sensitivity is a superpower. Um, I am certainly very sensitive. And I most of my clients are sensitive, but a lot of times we've grown up with people who use that negatively. Like, oh, you're too sensitive. You're so sensitive. And really that, it's, it's really disempowerment. It takes your power away because it makes you feel like there's something wrong with that. And there's not, absolutely nothing wrong with that. So using Archangel Michael or calling upon Archangel Michael to clear out that energy, Again, meditations that clear out old beliefs, old ways of doing things, systematic programs that are, are within you from your education, the education system, from society, from your peers, from family, old beliefs and upbringings. I feel like there's a lot of purging of this and taking some time to pause and ask yourself, what do I believe? What is it that I truly want and how do I want to move forward? 
And I feel like that's where this card comes in. Follow the path that's right for you. God blesses those who are pa who patiently endure testing and temptation. So you may be getting people, negative energy, that's coming in, that's trying to tell you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing, those have tos. And you know, we're, we're a rare breed. <laughs> we march to the beat of our own drum, but really deep down we want to fit in. We really kind of want to find our tribe and we want to feel connected. And so there's so many people releasing family members, relationships, co-workers. There is this big shift in energies right now and it's really intense. A lot of what I'm seeing is our shadow stuff coming up our weaknesses coming up and i feel like this is a card that's saying come april there's going to be a big change in direction i mean we're even seeing it in the world there's a lot of power struggles there's a lot of solar plexus stuff in the world and it, and, and and it can't help but trickle down to our vibration because really we're all one so what you're seeing in the world is what's happening to so many of us on a smaller level you know we're seeing power changes within the family dynamics we're seeing adjustments being made we're seeing a lot of throat chakra stuff and using our communication but it really starts with empowerment so you're gonna feel that tug when somebody's telling you to do something that's not in accordance with your higher wisdom and your soul's path, you're gonna feel it in your stomach. You're gonna feel like that pit of your stomach dropped out or you're gonna feel like a knot or you're gonna feel resistance in the stomach. And when you're giving yourself time to meditate, when you're relaxing in a peaceful place, when you're using going in meditation and, 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 and focusing that energy on the crown chakra, you're connecting with the divine, I feel like you're gonna start getting downloads that are gonna really allow that solar plexus to open up and really shine. If you can get in the sunshine, the sunshine, the sunshine is an incredible masculine energy and the sun helps things to grow. So if you can get out in the sun in healthy ways, of course, five minutes of some vitamin D, get out and just kind of get some warmth and some fresh air. Maybe you can go for a walk. We're here in New England and I'm here in Rhode Island and it's starting to get more beautiful out. So there's certainly weather that you know you can get out. I'm feeling if you can get into some sun and be out and bring, bring in the energy of joy. Ask Archangel Haniel to support you if you're feeling extra sensitive and bring you peace. So I also feel like by connecting with your intuition. It says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance that are sent to answer your prayers. As you're connecting with the divine, as you're releasing and allowing, going with the flow, allowing things to come in and out of your life with no attachments, no expectations, you're surrendering to God and uh, his higher will and his path for you, you're changing courses and going with the flow, I feel like it will bring in the peace that you're looking for. So if you chose 22 and you're, you're, you're in that space of have faith, peace might be something that you're seeking and that you're looking for. Maybe there's been a lot of disruption. And remember, things need to get shaken up to be cleared out. And that's what this retrograde energy is all about. So follow the path that's right for you. If things are confusing right now, if you're not really sure, wait. There's a lot of energy that's coming up and I'm telling you the work is in the purging and um, there is a message about pain. When you can sit in the energy of pain, it becomes your power. And so with the retrograde, this energy is like the slingshot and the pullback right now. And this is the space we're in. So if you can honor the space by your in, excuse me, if you can honor the space you're in by surrendering to what is, this is also a time to, I feel like, to really be in your body. Again, when emotions come up and things are painful, we are extra sensitive. 
connect with your higher power, ask God to, to download that unconditional light vibration to fill your body. And I feel like this is also a message that there's change in directions and your course is about to shift. So go with the flow and it all is stemmed back to the solar plexus and standing in your power. All right. So let me see, let me finish. I wanna pull one more John Holland card. And what is a final message for the group? What is a final message for the group? Oh, okay, let's see. I love these cards, they just kind of fly out. <laughs> Recognition and reward. Look at that beautiful energy. So God is saying, and this is a three. Oh my God, that's so cool. We have three, the number three here. We have the number three here. Three is an ascended master number. It's the energy of the Trinity. I didn't know if any other numbers were in here. It's the number of the Trinity. So we have double threes, double twos. Um, three is God, you know, God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the divine masculine, the divine feminine. And I feel like as you allow yourself space to heal, as you as you sit in the energy, allow the emotions and the feelings to flow through you. Uh, one of the things you can do is, you know, if you get that pe feeling of being uncomfortable or sad or angry or frustrated, sit with it and ask it what its messages are. It's there to teach you uh, instead of stuffing it. And I feel like the end result of all this is recognition and reward. So I feel like God is saying that it's not all for naught, that you're going through this and you just have to keep moving. And in the end, recognition and reward will be your message. Wow, I love that. All right, let me close up space here for number 22. We'll put this back in the chakras. And thank you for watching those who chose 22. And I will catch you next time. Okay, for those of you who chose number 55, welcome. This is a message, well, the number 55 is an energy of change, transformation, shifts. And I started <clears throat> the last pile with pulling a chakra. So I am going, I'm waiting to pull the chakra card because this there's only one of each and I didn't want to limit the other piles uh, if, if the same chakra needed to be focused on and worked on. So, all right, so let me pull that first. What chakra? It's pile 55. Need to work on, focus on. Let's see. Whoa, let's just go in this one. <laughs> Base chakra, root chakra, number one. Gorgeous energy. So your root chakra is connected to finances. It's survival, support, stability. It can, it can house the energy of safety but it can also house the energy of fear and worry. So let's get into it. So put the 55 here. So the Archangel, Archangel Jophiel, outdoors. Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Nice. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Angel therapy, parents. It says the divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. 
The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. Wow. And we have two daily guidance. There's nothing to worry about. And the message says, you are safe. Okay, so if those of you who are watching this pile, you may be struggling with worries and fears. Again, the base chakra carries the energy of safety and or worries and fears, the positive and the negative. So the message is you are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Yes, I love that. For me, when I pull this card, it reminds me of the Archangel Michael. He came up in the last reading too. And in the IET system, energy therapy system that I work with, Archangel Michael is the angel that works with the base chakra. So I love how it's all coming together. So the other daily guidance card is entrepreneur. So it says, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your coworkers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So one of the messages that, and again, because it's a general reading, it may not resonate with everybody, but one of the things I wanna say about this card and the energy of love, parent energy, I feel like in this survival support with the 55 is, uh, with change is, so what's happening with the collective is earth angels are now learning how to access money without let's say third party or th the corporate world so what i'm seeing is Many earth angels are being downloaded with creative gifts, creative ideas, which I have no doubt why Archangel Jophiel comes in and wants you to get out. We are moving towards the energy of love. The work that we're doing in service of others is, needs to come from a place of that unconditional love vibration in service of others without the needing to jump in to fix, save, change, and make better. We're separating, again, big changes for the collective and us individually. We are separating from that codependent energy. This means we are learning how to give and be of service to those who want to receive. And many of you are shifting away from the takers. Now, there's no judgment against the takers because I'm sure I was a taker at some point in my life. Um, and what I mean by that is they're in their own world of maybe addiction, low vibrational dependency on, it can be anything, it could be food, it could be drugs or alcohol, it could be work, it could be, it could be ad extreme adventure, it could be extreme fitness. There, there's so many things that TV, programs, certain types of music, there's these, you know, there, you know, I always say everything in moderation, but there are these extremes that those who haven't awakened yet are really falling into. It's like a quicksand pit. Maybe it's people who are stuck in negativity or they're stuck in toxic energy. Now, again, it is not a judgment on them. I have been in that space and through this process and through this journey that I've been on, I've been able to shift things. And that doesn't mean I don't go there to those spaces, but I'm talking about the people who are deeply in that space. It's like they're sinking in quicksand and the Earth Angel Collective used to jump in to try to fix and save and change and make better because remember, we're gifted with intuition. We're gifted with guidance to be able to help people. Now, that doesn't mean we can't help them. We are learning to attract and resonate clients, friendships, partnerships, relationships with people who we can be of service to where we can comfort them support them teach them and inspire them we are moving towards and gravi gravitating towards people places things and ideas 
that can comfort us, support us, teach us, inspire us. So it's this beautiful vibration. Some people call it 3D, 5D. Some people call it lower vibration and higher vibration. Some people call it light with the lowercase L and light with a capital L. I mean, it's all vibration. I struggle with the English well, not English, I just struggle with words in general. <laughs> I prefer to just communicate telepathically, but <laughs> we, we're nowhere near that yet. Although texting brought in a lot of that energy to be able to connect with people without actually using words, like using your vocal cords. <laughs> anyway, that's near here, I digress. So I also feel like this parent card comes up with change meaning that a lot of earth angels right now are shifting out of these old paradigms of culture and traditions. We're moving into a space of teamwork, working together with the masculine and feminine energy. There's a lot of healing that's going on. So what I've also noticed too, the age group, now, this doesn't mean younger or older is not going through this, but I'm noticing a big shift in culture, traditions, belief systems with the age, age group of 35 to like 42. Now, that doesn't mean any like 32, 33, 34, or 43, 44, 45 isn't part of this. But from what I'm seeing, there are huge shifts with our generation. I'm, I'm in this generation. There are huge shifts where we're breaking away from and healing the unhealthy thought patterns and belief systems from our parents and grandparents. And I feel like that's why this is coming up. So if you're having more difficulty with family members, if there's been more like miscommunication and, and fighting in that sense, things are changing. And I feel like that's where Michael steps in to say there's nothing to worry about. So I'm feeling a few types of energies here. I'm feeling the changes in the family dynamic, maybe even in your relationship. You know, maybe you and your spouse or your significant other, your partner operated where this was their job and this is this was was your job or there was just these paradigms that just were and now it's no longer working for you or your significant other partner or significant other partner or lover whatever you want to call it um, and those are shifting and changing and what's happening is there and your upbringing is coming up now projecting 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 you know projecting for me has been a very challenging lesson uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really coming to understand it through my support system, through my coaches and therapists and mentors. And we have to understand that our upbringing, there's these seeds, these programs that are subconscious within us. They're, they're, they're high up that we're not aware that it's happening or we're not we're not aware that we're repeating these patterns until patterns continuously show up in our life over and over again. So what I also am feeling is that many of you are purging your parent stuff, ancestral stuff, grandparent stuff. And when you're in your relationship, it's really important to be mindful that you're not pulling yourself outside of yourself and trying to fix and save and change. And you're this and you're that, your spouse, or like I said, your significant other or partner, because it's, it's really our triggers are our own. Now, that doesn't mean that if somebody is if somebody is how do i want to say if somebody is doing something to you that is hurting you that doesn't mean it's your own stuff i'm saying you're in a split pace of pausing and separating like okay is this 
abandonment stuff? Is this codependency stuff? And then as you pull yourself and your own energy out of it, you can go in and have a conversation with that person with more clarity. And this is how this makes me feel. And this is what's happening. Um, Communication is something that especially in relationships is something that I've always struggled with and I've been doing some deep inner work on it at least for the last six months. And I can tell you, I still got a long way to go, (laughs) but it's not just me. I'm seeing so many people going through this within their own relationships. Remember, we're getting down to the heart of love. I'm I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. It goes back to that space when I say when you can realize and notice that life's happening for you and not against you, everything changes. Now would be a really great time to continue to pray and meditate, connect with your own intuition, ask your own pain body, ask the pain, the frustration, the the, the sadness, the hurt, the lower back pain, the chest pain, whatever you're feeling, the, 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 the rotator cuff stuff, the ask the pinched nerve stuff, ask the arthritic knees stuff, ask the joint stuff, sit with it, feel it out and ask it what it's trying to tell you. When you can sit with it and give it permission to move through your body in a healthy way, you'll be surprised at the knowledge and wisdom that you can get from it. So like I said, I feel like there's a couple things happening in this reading, partly family, and relationship stuff, partly money stuff and how we're accessing money. Again, we're moving into the space of entrepreneurship and learning how to access money from the divine without third party, meaning that people are tapping into their intuitive gifts to be in service of others without working for a corporation. Um, You know, I stepped out of that world, gosh, in 2007. It it literally spit me out. It spit me out. (laughs) Oh my God. So if you're in a job right now and you're crying every morning, every night, um, get get outside. Call on Archangel Jophiel. Archangel Jophiel, her message is always to help you beautify your thoughts. She can help you move from a negative place to a positive space. And getting outside, getting outside and being with Mother Nature is very divine feminine energy, connecting with the earth, feeling the wind blowing on your skin, watching the birds or the animals that cross your path. Um, You know, if you keep having a specific animal that's showing up, I had a dream of a a lioness the other night and she was gorgeous. So when I get up, what I do is I go to Google and I look up lioness totem. So if you have an animal or a bird or something that keeps crossing your path, something that you're dreaming about, go to Google and look up that animal, put it in and put totem. Stephen Farmer also has a book that I have here. It's a little pocket, a little pocket book that I got on Hay House. It's called Spirit Animals. And that's another book that I use to connect with nature and to get out outdoors. So I have some pretty amazing power animals. So they come forth uh, as well. So when you're getting outdoors, you might get intuitive guidance. So if you're feeling depleted, if you're feeling irritable, if you're feeling shaky, get outdoors, get some fresh air. One of the messages in the last readings is getting some sun and I feel like it's the same thing. So let me finish here with the final God. God's message is be the love you wish to receive. And the message says those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Again, this goes back, look at the heart, the crown, the hands. This goes back to nourishing yourself, your own soul, knowing that there's nothing to worry about, that if you're going through all these things right now, you're you're just part of the collective and we're all shifting this energy. You know, you usually can get a good clue of what's going on individually with what's going on in the world. So again, lots of worries and fears, lots of foundational issues, a lot of structural issues, a lot of uh, power struggles, right? And and, and, and and being, what's the word I want to use? Abuse of power. But then there's also energy that's coming in of empowerment. So 
you might be guided to st step out of that for a little while and tap into your intuition. Uh, if you are consumed by that world, things can get really foggy and shaky for you. So maybe I encourage you for the next couple days just to kind of stay away from it and see how you feel. So again, be the love you wish to receive. And I really feel like to yourself, start being that love to yourself, that gentleness, that kindness, that sweetness. And when you feel that, you're gonna radiate that out and wanna help others. All right, so what I did with the last pile, which I'm gonna do with this pile, is I'm going to finish with an overall message from John Holland's Psychic Tarot deck. So what is one final message to sum it all up for the group? Number 55. What message do you have for the group overall? I really just want a jumper. I want a clear exclamation point. <laughs> Let's see. Final message. Oh, wow, there's two. All right, I was gonna say, I was gonna put it down, like maybe there's not a message and then two flow out. So we have number five, of course. Um, which is conflict and defeat. So this is about change. So you may be in this space right now with your job and your money. You also may be in the space with your relationships with people and the other message is suffering in silence. And this is a number nine. So here we have the five energy and the nine energy. So I feel like I feel like this is saying, I feel like this is validation. If, if you're feeling like this, know that you're not alone. I feel like, I was, I, I, I was when I was shuffling, the intention was what's the overall message? Like what's, what can we sum it all up? And I feel like this is, this is saying that this, it needs to happen. And I also feel with suffering in silence, you don't have to. There are so many great healers and intuitives. There are so many great YouTube videos that you can watch for free. Ask God to help you. So I've been doing a ton of research on the relationship energy, the love vibration, if you want to call it twin flame, soulmate energy, the masculine feminine energy. And I was really struggling with it. So I asked God to show me and I was guided to some pretty amazing resources. So I feel like this is saying, I feel like this, this is validating that if you're in this space, you're not alone. Again, five is all about change. Um, and this can be a really heavy energy. Um, I always felt like with change, I used to be like, uh-oh, here we go. And I used to get afraid. But now, remember, the more you want, the more things need to shift and change. So I feel like they're saying this is these are the messages if you're in this space suffering in silence conflict clicked in defeat sometimes relinquishing control sometimes and again which can stir up fears and worries which i feel like michael came in where there's nothing to worry about i feel like this is saying that you're not alone it's interesting let me see here so this person is on a stairwell and she's going up and this one is on a stairwell and he's going down but yet yeah, look at all the energy beings going up so if you're about to give up oh this card's ripped if you're about to give up and you've just about had it pause get some time outside call on god remember the love be the love you wish to receive and i feel like this is where you're going so I feel like for some of you specifically, this is a message to not give up. That the divine is with you. All this stuff is happening for a reason. 
And also too, you know what I'm also getting to? Nine is a number of completion. And you know, it's like when you get up that mountain and you're like going up the mountain and it's so intense and it's just, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can make it. Well, I feel like the, the universe is saying that you're just about there. Cycles are of change are coming to completion so hang on there's nothing to worry about right now it's all happening for a reason and we're moving to that place of love so get outside get some fresh air connect with nature and it will help you um, relieve stress and gain new creative ideas all right thank you for watching Okay, those of you who chose pile 88, welcome. So let's start. I was starting with, uh, let me do three, four, five, six. Let me grab, let me grab the chakra. So I started each pile with pulling a chakra and energy to focus on to support you. And I wanted to do it because I wanted to wait to do it because I didn't want to limit. There's only one chakra in each pile, so I didn't want to limit it by taking one of the chakras out if it could benefit the other pile. So here we go. Let me start with a root uh, root chakra. That was the last one. All right. Let me. Okay. Let me just let me just clear and separate from the last reading. And pile number eighty-eight. All right. Divine. What chakra, chakra should the group 88 focus on? 88. Eight. Let's see. I don't know how to <laughs> shuffle. I really just kind of want to pop out. All right, let's go with this one base chakra didn't I just say root chakra this is the same chakra as the last group so base chakra it makes sense with the number 88 because 88 uh, is about finances it's about abundance it's about power it's about flow it's about money resources so we will stick with that energy we got base chakra so the base chakra, again, is survival, support, stability. It carries the emotional energy of safety, but also can carry the energy of fear and worry. So those of you who chose number 88, if you're struggling with money or finances or flow and things coming in, if you're waiting for things to happen and unfold and it's creating a... a shaky foundation for you doing any type of meditation with the base chakra would be beneficial all right so the angel for this group is archangel shamuel it's funny he's the angel of transition to and change so it says i'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship beautiful shamuel i'll get into more messages as i i pull them so soul's journey adversity interesting i accept the challenges i accept that challenges are the best way to learn <laughs> i need to maybe i need to read that since I'm, I'm struggling reading it adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn hiccups and bumps so again if everything was perfect and great life would be a little boring so maybe we need a little adversity maybe you're experiencing that right now angel therapy card interesting twin flame i'm wondering so this also this feels like relationship stuff twin flame energy it says the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship it says i'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship I am also feeling so relationships is something that I've been doing a lot oops sorry a lot of research on for myself and I'm getting guided to work with couples 
to explore the divine in love energy. I am being guided to work with twin flames, couples that are going through changes and transformation. And I feel like this is a message to say that, again, if you're single out there or you're in a relationship, things might be coming up to shift and change for you. You know, it never fails. Every time I pull this angel therapy deck, <laughs> the twin flame card comes out and I always kind of skirt around it but I think I'm just going to go into it today so we are moving into high vibrational partnerships and the foundations of what we know are being shaken up and relationship stuff is 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 really shifting I'm not sure how it represents the eights yet interesting so I'm seeing the infinity and Again, this is very specific and I may have some other messages later, but right now what I'm seeing is that uh, if you have been separated from a loved one, if your things aren't going well in your relationship right now, and, and I feel like this is lover energy, this is again divine love this is it, it it feels deeper than like let's say a parent relationship child relationship co-worker i feel like right now this message is for it's shaking up your foundation so again i don't know why this is coming out but it is uh and again it may be something specific and for you and if this is something that you want to talk more about please book a divine guidance session because i know a lot about a lot <laughs> I just haven't really talked about it yet. Base chakra. So what I'm feeling with this is the masculine and feminine energies. It's not boy, girl, it's masculine, feminine, however you re resonate. What the Earth Angel Collective is learning with this twin flame vibration, star seed vibration, there's so many uh, beings of light and energy that we resonate with. Our base chakra, the way we used to operate, the way we used to call in money, the way we used to work is all being broken up. And what's happening is we can never, we can no longer operate in codependency, meaning that your life becomes all about somebody else. And the masculine and feminine energy is learning how to balance the masculine and feminine energy within. So some of you may have been separated from your twin flame, your soulmate relationship. Things may have happened where there needed to be a break and you could still be in the same house. Maybe your relationship has changed and you're feeling just like, I want things to get back to the way they were. And what I'm seeing for the collective in relationships is that we're supposed to be reintegrating the energy of true love back on the planet. So for example, I am a divine feminine. I operate in the feminine energy. I've struggled with my wounded masculine. Uh, because I was raised, and this is me getting a little vulnerable, but maybe it can help some of you out there. I was raised by a single mom who operated heavily in her masculine because she needed to su survive and support her children. So <clears throat> I <laughs> tend to be alpha, let's say, in business. And I'm a go-getter and I, I chase and go after things. Now, what I've learned in relationships is that's not what I want and that's not how I want to operate. So I had challenges in my previous relationship because of this. I see that now, I recognize it. And I really needed to work on survival, support, and stability for myself. And because of my codependency tendencies, it was getting intertwined. Look at me, I'm, I'm moving that eight number, that infinity number. It was getting intertwined and there was no separation. And it just kind of became a big old mess, friends. It was a sad big old mess. <laughs> so unfortunate. I mean, I've learned so much from it. And if you're going through it right now, you're learning so much from it. And so your foundation is being shaken up. That which you wanted is changing. And again, the collective is learning how to access money using our intuitive gifts. 
So the masculine energy right now, their life purpose energy is be, being shaken up. So there's a lot of focus with the masculine energy on work. They may not be happy in the work that they're in, but they're the ones that are going to have to make the changes. Uh, same thing for the feminines. The feminines also need to spend time in meditation, connecting with intuition, getting into the, the feminine's energy, getting into their emotions and feelings and purging the energy that's been stuck within that's made you prickly and controlling. Again, control sits in the base chakra. Fear and worry and what happens is it just becomes like dominant and yucky and prickly. Now this is not blaming in any way. And the masculine feminine energy is all kind of screwy right now. And so I feel like they're we're just kind of shaking things up and kind of getting back to what is the new norm. All right, so that being said right now, let me get into the other cards. So the divine guidance, ah, wedding, this is so crazy. It says, uh, is it clear? Yeah, it says, marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe, continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. Beautiful energy. So again, this is this is all about relationship stuff. I mean, soulmate relationship, adversity, twin flame, wedding. Let's keep going. So there were two cards for the love and light. <clears throat> God says, embrace adventure in your life. Jesus said, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like these children. Embrace your adventure. So we have the Holy Spirit energy, heart of the dove, Holy Sh uh, Shekinah energy, whatever, whatever you want to call it. This is the divine feminine energy and you have that divine masculine energy looking up at the divine feminine. Uh, life is an adventure right now. If you've ever gone whitewater rafting, it can be a scary adventure. Uh, if you've ever gone hiking and didn't really know where you were going, you know there are points when it brings up fear. And I feel like we're there. There, many of you may be on that path right now who chose number eighty-eight. It's so crazy. I really thought this was going to be about money. In a way, it is with the base chakra, but I think couples are supposed to be working on. I feel, maybe you were guided to this because of money or prosperity, let's say, but it is the infinity. And maybe the universe is saying that it needs to come in partnership. It needs to come from balance of the masculine and feminine within you, within your partner or your future partner if you don't have one yet. And then the other message says, release your cares to God. It says, oh, that I had wings like a dove then I would fly away and rest. Oh my God, there's the dove energy again. Heart of the dove, Shekinah energy, divine feminine energy. This, if this isn't a twin flame reading, I don't know what is. Gosh, it's so powerful. So let me see, I, I feel like I said a lot, but there, I'm sure there's more. Let me just connect with the new cards here. <sighs> Yin and Yang. I feel like doing a meditation on balance so I'm seeing the yin and yang working together in partnership. So I'm also feeling if you are in a partnership right now that is a little challenged, finding a new system that works for you guys. This is about sitting down and planning Hmm. This is about sitting down and, 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 and creating and formulating a new plan for what works with you now in this new energy. I know this, this may not make sense. So, so again, if you're in a relationship with somebody who is still in low vibration, it's not your role. It's not your duty and not your job to jump in and save them. They have to do their own inner work. That doesn't mean, this goes back to 
the energy of fixing, saving, changing, and making better for people. That's the codependent energy that the earth angels are separating from. And we're going into the space of comforting, supporting, teaching, inspiring others. So, you know, I just send prayers and I send love and I ask God to pray for those that I love and those that I have loved. There's a lot of shakeups right now. Also feel like this is a message so so maybe some of you haven't gotten married uh, maybe some of you dream of that uh, and maybe some of you are are married and I feel like getting back to this energy this sacred union this twin flame energy so I'm also getting a message of remember you have sacred union in spirit that you can't <laughs> Again, if this isn't if if this isn't resonating with you by now, <laughs> choose number twenty-two or number fifty-five. That may resonate, uh, but I have to go with what I'm getting because it's so specific here. Again, it's not it's not what I expected, but leave it to the divine. I feel like this is going into remember that that you have sacred union and partnership before your souls even came here, and. I feel like there's this adversity here for a reason. I accept the challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. See, I messed it up again. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. <laughs> Clearly, I struggle with challenges. Um, but what I have been doing is I've been learning to sit in the uncomfortable energy. I've been sit, learning to sit with the challenges before I react with, with everybody in my life, um, and myself included. Um, adversity, adversity, it's like movement, it's like the tug of war energy. So you could be feeling like you're in a tug of war energy with your, with your partner. But embrace that adventure, embrace adventure in your life, knowing that you're going through changes. This heart of the dove energy, holy Shekinah energy, let me look at this card real quick. Um, So this is for the feminine energy out there. I feel like, you see how she's just taking a rest? I feel like this is symbolic. This picture alone is symbolic. Look, she's got a little puddin' pop. I think that's a cat <laughs> in her lap. This is a message for the feminine energies out there to surrender and get some rest. That this is all happening for a reason. God's on it as you see with the heart of the dove here. And I feel like even this picture is a message to look up from the divine. So if you're in a relationship right now that's been challenging and you've been in your head, this is for men and women, masculine and feminine energy. If you've been in your head trying to mentalize and problem solve, what do I do? How do I fix it? How do I make it better? I feel like this card is saying, look up and connect with the heart of the dove, the Holy Spirit, the Shekinah energy, and, and then really connect with your heart. Your heart is where you're gonna get the guidance. So going into your body, meditation on the heart energy as well can be powerful. And remember, foundations are being broken up. Old ways and old belief systems are being shaken up. And what I've been seeing with clients is I've been working with clients that where we've been strengthening the base chakra through either Reiki or IET energy or even magnified healing, uh, beautiful energy therapies. The base chakra, again, it's it's what the image I keep, I keep seeing is the image of like a contractor, maybe if that's the right person. So again, it's like your foundation was built and then the inspector went in and the space that we're in right now, especially with the Mercury retrograde is we need a solid foundation because after this retrograde, we're going to start building, let's say if you can get a visual, you're going to start building your house. And so your foundation needs to be a sound solid structure because remember year of the earth pig prosperity abundance flow all this good stuff is coming to you it's there but 
it's not there for us to operate and do alone. We're going to see more divine partnerships coming together. We're gonna to see more divine unions. We're gonna see couples working together, learning how to use their masculine and feminine within each other. And then whatever their dominant is together in the relationship and learn how to access money on higher levels. I'm always in awe of the masculine energy's ability to manifest and create money. Um, I love that aspect because the masculine energy is very stabilizing, it's a provider energy, it's solid. And so what's happening right now, it's like your divine beings, your guides, guardian angels, it's like they're going into your foundation, like that's been built. And they're going in with, I don't, I don't know what the material is. It's like they're going in with like a sealant and they're filling in any cracks or any holes. And energetically, that's what's coming up right now. So if you've got hiccups and bumps and adversity and challenges and problems, if you're being triggered by your partner or by a previous relationship, if you're being triggered by people, it's about doing your inner work right now. It's really not about them and it's about, it's about you and their mirror to you. So in my previous relationship, I can tell you it woke me the heck up it was it was like it was like I subconsciously and un unknowingly suppressed eons of old patterns old belief systems just being a sensitive person I carried everything for everybody I'd ever known and so my last relationship my last divine partnership was like <laughs> the jackhammer that came in that broke up the foundation because it was so damaged, let's say, and I say that in the most beautiful way. And it was almost like these last six months, I've been rebuilding my foundation. I've been becoming more clearer. I've been using the best brick and mortar. And I feel like in this retrograde, it's like so many of you, your, your loving beings and guides are going in and just sealing up the cracks, meaning the stuff is still coming up through this retrograde. And it makes sense why I, I chose you know, surviving Mercury retrograde halfway point as a theme because I feel like this is, for those of you who chose 88 and are resonating with this, you guys are the ones that are really helping to reintegrate the energy of divine love back on the planet. And again, the answer to your question involves spiritually a spiritually based romantic relationship, Archangel Shamuels helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, again, adversity, wedding, remembering your soul contract, that this is an adventure and it's a journey, that there, there's always gonna be something. Jesus teaches all the time that, you know, your, your, life is going to have hiccups and bumps if you believe that or if you're trying to get to the place where nothing is happening in your life you're you're misleading yourself that these challenges and hiccups and bumps that are coming up for you and me and everybody else are to strengthen our foundation are to strengthen our soul journey and to teach us and so Jesus says all the time, turn your attention to me, turn your attention to me and I can support you. I can give you the guidance. I can give you the knowledge and wisdom that can carry you through it. So if you've forgotten Jesus, if you've forgotten, if you've been so in your head and problem solving and figuring things out, I encourage you to just take a big old time out, take a big old break reset button, know that things are changing and it's now creating a new norm in different relationships or so I should say so relationship the dynamic of relationships are going to change I don't know if they'll go back to the way that they were but they 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 can be better than the way that they were if you and your partner are doing your inner work whatever that means to you however you do that is up to you I always say ask God and get on Google <laughs> God is in Google um and release your cares to God. Know that he is overseeing this divine energy. So I feel like for these next couple weeks, the message is to surrender. Surrender into, instead of doing anymore, this isn't a message about doing anymore. 
This is about, it's coming. This infinity energy, know that this energy, you can't get away from divine love. It is there, constant, with God's energy and partnership energy. I feel like your foundation right now is being worked on by the inspectors, and they're just making sure that whatever the bottom of the barrel stuff needs to come up that will hold you back. And I can tell you, come April, that slingshot is gonna be released and we're gonna move forward easily and effortlessly. So let me pick a final card <clears throat> using John Holland's Psychic Tarot deck. And I and the other piles have just asked for one final message to bring it all together. Okay, so for pile 88, one final message. All right. Whoa. All right. So there are two that I'm going to take. Let me get a swing on over to the other side here. Hold on one minute. Okay. Ooh. I like it. I like it. All right. So and then there's this one. Oh boy. Okay. So the messages that came out are choose wisely. Card number seven. Again, more bird energy taking flight. And then the other card is number two, which is a have faith. It says the waiting game. So I feel like this is a message to make sure that what is in your life right now, and this is beyond relationship, that what is in your life right now is that which you want in your life now and moving forward. This Mercury retrograde energy would be a great time to move away from addictions, old patterns, old beliefs, old, old ways of doing things, um, old paradigms, things that you don't want anymore. So I feel like this message is saying like, get rid of the baggage and choose wisely. As spiritual beings, we are in this lifetime. We have an opportunity to consciously handpick people, places, things, and ideas in this lifetime. And remember, you're choosing for lifetimes forward. So there are a lot of soul group shakeups. There are a lot of changes going on. I talked about this in the number five reading too, 55 reading. And there's a lot of shakeups right now with soul groups and people are leaving old soul groups that are no longer resonating with this higher energy. Again, it gets back to 5D, 3D energy. It's all words. It's all vibrational. No one is better than the other. It's all about soul growth. So that's, again, I wanna make that clear. Um, but many of the people who are probably watching this and resonating with this, this, is, this, this reading is deep. It's on a deeper level. It's about where we're going consciously. And <laughs> now we wait. So if you're trying to force things to happen, look at this person. They're just kind of going around. It kind of reminds me of a labyrinth and just kind of going around. And I feel like this is saying, wait it out. Now may not be the time for things to come into fruition. Remember, everyone is doing their own inner work. And so we are in the waiting game, especially with Mercury retrogrades. Mercury retrogrades is where communication can get a little fuzzy and, you know, travel, computer stuff, miscommunications. So I feel like this message is saying, wait, continue to do your inner work, strengthen your own masculine and feminine within, and the universe will hit the go button when it's time. The universe will guide you to make things right, to change things, or not at all. Again, again when you're choosing wisely. So I feel like with this overall message, right here is saying there's nothing to do right now, but do your own inner work. And again, that's through meditation, prayer. Come see me for some energy work. Uh, I will tell you though that my my sessions have gotten pretty pretty deep lately, like where we're doing digging. So if you've got blocks or things that you don't know of, 
I'll tell you, with an IET session uh, or a magnified healing session, we'll dig. And uh, we'll get to the root of the memories and we'll pull that energy right out. It's powerful right now, but that's part of the waiting game. Getting your own energy work, feeling better, just praying, inviting your, your angels in, your guides, releasing your cares and concerns to God <clears throat> or that heart of the dove or wh whatever that works for you, whatever hi your higher power is um, and ride the wave. We've got a few more weeks of this retrograde and um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it unfolds. I love doing these readings. I missed it. Like I said, I haven't been able to do it. I, I tried. I tried with other decks and other energies and it just was not working. So now I see why. Maybe the energy last week was just so rapidly moving that the messages just wouldn't stick. So I feel like these messages can really, really tapped into the essence of what's happening now. And these can stick and can be really good guidance for you. So if you're going through twin flame stuff or relationship stuff, you know, I have couple sessions that I have on my website. Uh, divine guidance sessions are perfect uh, for to dive more into those things. They're really messages that where I connect with the essence of your of your soul, the blueprint of your soul. They're very individualized and I am happy to offer assistance. So all right, let's close up. All right, so let me close space. Actually, fix these a little bit. My little OCD here. All right, friends. Let me close up by thanking all your guardian angels and guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, God, source, creator of the universe, all holy beings of light that assisted with this guidance for you today. And I'm going to ask that any healing that was started continue for as long as it needs to be done in mind, body, spirit, and emotions in all ways. I'm going to ask the angels to open up the channels of information and support to be guided to you easily and effortlessly. And I'm going to ask the time angels to work with you so that you do have time to rest, surrender, release, and work with your inner guidance and intuition to lessen the impact and speed up the recovery process. It is done, it is done, it is done. All right, friends, thank you for watching. <clears throat> if you know anybody who can benefit, please share these readings. Like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, I try to get a pick a card reading out once a week. And then I also have my Sunday reading that I put out every Sunday. I'm also toying with the idea of doing a like a, a, a five, 10 minute mini reading on Instagram as well with, with areas like prosperity or love or relationships or health, whatever, all those little mini topics. So connect with me on Instagram, the link is below. And if you haven't heard it today, I love you. God loves you. Trust in the divine, trust your intuition. And I send you love with heavenly hugs. Bye for now.